Hello. Hello everyone. Richard here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about one of the fastest and most secure VPN solutions that exist, WireGuard, and how to implement it on Macrotic routers. WireGuard is a technology that has quickly gained popularity thanks to its simplicity, speed, and low resource consumption. This is ideal for network environments in which we need a secure and reliable connection. Like remote offices or personal connections, or simply managing some server, some OLT, some router, some ONU or some radio. Today I'm going to show you step by step how to configure WireGuard on Macrotic Router. From the basic installation to the configuration details so that it works securely and without complications. With this configuration, you will be able to protect your data, your connections, maintaining the network speed and with minimal consumption of router resources. To configure a VPN with WireGuard on a Macrotic router and connect from a Windows PC, these are the basic requirements. Basic requirements on a Macrotic router. Basically, there are two. Number one, router OS version seven or higher. WireGuard is only available on Macrotic with Router OS 7. So it is essential that the device is updated to this version. Requirement number two on the Macrotic router will be the configuration of a public IP or an accessible IP address. For remote connections, the router needs a public IP address or at least an IP that can be accessed from the remote location. This facilitates the client's connection in this case, it will be your PC to the router. The requirements on the Windows PC, which will be the client. Installation of the WireGuard client. Download and install the official WireGuard application for Windows. Remember that this is totally free. This application will allow you to configure and manage the VPN connection. With those requirements covered, you will be able to configure the VPN with WireGuard on Macrotic and establish a secure connection from your Windows PC. So, if you're looking for a simple and efficient way to improve the security of your network, of your VPN, stay tuned to learn everything you need to know about WireGuard on Macrotic. Let's begin. As you can see, my Macrotic router currently has version 7.16.1 and it has a public IP address 54.82.69.204. I have the Ether1 interface through which I receive the internet connection. Let's mark it. I also have a DHCP client to inherit the IP addressing from my internet provider. And the most important thing now is to verify that this Macrotic router has an internet connection, which as we can see is a fact that is responding. While we go to the wire guard section to start with the configuration, we click the plus sign to enable the interface and once we apply the change here, there are two very relevant values. To take into account, the first is the listen port that WireGuard brings by default to allow remote connections. This port is 13,231 UDP. We can also see that a public key was generated, which we will need later to include it in the remote WireGuard application that we will install on the Windows PC. We close this window and we're going to configure the IP address of the WireGuard. Interface, I select the interface. And we type 192.168. 
apply an OK. Then I copy the network of the WireGuard interface to then go to IP, Firewall, NAT, click the plus sign, chain, SRC, NAT, and an SRC address. I paste the WireGuard network and I'm going to add the slash 24. Then on the Action tab, I select Masquerade, I go to Apply, and OK. Very well, we close here, and we're going to leave the WireGuard window open to continue. Very well, now we're going to download the WireGuard application on our PC. So we go to the website WireGuard.com. click on installation here. We can see installers for different operating systems in my case. I'm going to download the installer for Windows. And then we run it already at this moment, we have the application ready to be run. So we're going to add an empty tunnel. The first thing I will do is give this tunnel a name I. I'd like to give it the name of the router it will connect to. So I go to the Macrotic System Identity, and I'm going to copy the router's name. Then I return to the WireGuard application, and I simply paste it. What follows is copying the public key from the WireGuard application. This is very important. Then in the Macrotic, I go to Peers, I click the plus sign. I'm going to assign a name to the peer. It will be in link IT underscore tutorial now. Where it says public key, I'm going to paste the public key of the remote wire guard. And where it says allowed address, we type 192.168.16.2 slash 32. This will be the remote IP address. I click apply and OK. Now what follows is copying the public key of the Macrotics WireGuard interface to have it save in the PC's memory and we are going to use it later. Back on the PC, I'm going to configure the lines that we're missing to be able to establish the WireGuard connection. So I type address 192.168.16.2/32, which will be the IP address of this PC's WireGuard. The DNS will be 8.8.8.8 .8 now. We need to include the peer configuration that is the Macrotix data, and we're going to do this between square brackets. I write peer. And we're going to start with the configuration, the public key here. I'm going to paste the public key of the remote device. In this case, it will be the Macrotix public key. The allowed IPs will be 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0. Which means I can receive any network. The endpoint will be the public IP of the Macrotic router.
and the port will be the one configured as the WireGuard Listen port. This is the entire configuration something that is pending is. Allowing port 13231 in the Macrotic firewall, it is very important. So, I'm going to create this rule chain input protocol UDP. The DST port will be 13,231, which is the one WireGuard brings by default. Action accept. And the comment, allow WireGuard. Then I drag the rule in such a way that it ends up first above the rest of the firewall rules. We return to WireGuard, Peers tab. Now from the application on the PC, I am going to activate the VPN. And you can see that the status is active. Returning to the Macrotic, we see the information in the here that the last handshake was a few seconds ago. And we can also see traffic in TX and RX. Now let's navigate tospeeddisk.net and observe that this is working very well since the public IP it shows is that of my Amazon CHR, or what is the same, that of my Macrotic router. I'm doing all the configuration is 54.82.69.204. Checking on the website techulesmith.net, I get the same result 54.82.69.204. Now, let's go to the Macrotic interfaces and let's do a speed test to see what is happening with the traffic, which is what interests us. Observe that I can achieve speeds of more than 300 megabits per second entering through the WireGuard VPN interface which for me is totally surprising finally. The disconnection is done by clicking here on the deactivate button and that's all. All right, friends, I hope you liked this video. Remember to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.